Brandon got a salt crystal. You know? so this is right. Yeah, this is YouTube. Oh, no. Can I take, can I take this yeah, is you famous. Yeah, you can either pick one or you can yeah. steal yeah. someone. Did I get that? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Whoa! Oh. We just we ordered it off. Oh, cute. What the heck? Oh, you I think forgot. you need it from the bathroom. Yeah, the yeah. best part is the poopery. Yeah, that's the best part. Right? Can you have your hand on it? I will actually. You like you you even like layered this present. Oh, last I did. Nice. That's cool. creative. Thank you. Are we taking the boat or are we taking the mystery box? Because the mystery box could be a boat. Oh boy, I don't know. It could know. be anything, Lois. It could be a boat. Could he steal something? I'm going mystery box. I might want this one. It does not feel like a Himalayan sea salt lamp. It wasn't me, it wasn't our present. Or a wine. Kind of like, hey, a crack like a pipe! pipe. Like, <laughs> right? like a pipe. Oh. You can do yeah, crack and heroin. Wooden knob sex toy. <laughs> I, love, I love the wooden knob. <laughs> Wanna use it, Jake? Sam? What? Yeah, sure! <laughs> right now, I'm... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Tell Spree's oh, eyes. We are playing some Christmas bocce ball. So I just like chucked it. A game with my people. Oh, well, that is. Look at that. Some Curve Christmas bocce, bocce ball. Oh my gosh. Oh, so close. Very close. Well, the man knows his balls. Knock them out. Man knows right, his knock balls. Out. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> hey, I'll do that. All right. Christina wants me to show your hat. What do you think this thing is? Ooh, very fancy. Might be a few points right here, ladies and gents. <laughs> Look, if, 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 if the object is to get it all the all line them up all here, I've won. And I can do one of these. <laughs> Three points for me. No points for you. Alright, so there really is a law that you can't speed. I want a golf cart. I can't believe this. No you know golf this cart Christina? speeding. Sure. Yeah, you have to be under, I think it's 20, supposedly is the max, but. I can't believe that. Who's Mine gonna... is set to go 22. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Now for our Christmas cigars, we got a ton of stuff here. Look at Brandon and I brought maybe six or six, five cigars each. So we're gonna have a nice cigar hanging out with dad and Troy. Brandon <laughs> just got this brown cellophane. <laughs> Look at that. That's how you know it's, you got good age, right there. Wait, what are you smoking? That's not age, know. we call it Patina. Blanco Patina. 9. <laughs> I am trying out this Rocky <clears throat> Patel. This is a renaissance. I've had this probably, I don't know, maybe nine years, I think. I was just telling my dad, I think nine years. So far, a good start. Nice, loose draw. Do you want one? Yeah, you want one? We have plenty. Come here. I if I want to hold one. Is that a good entry level cigar? Well, it's small. How do you hold it? <laughs> Lick the tip a little bit. I gotta get the, the lesson. You, know? that's what she's you, hold, you don't hold it like this. When I hold it like that, you laugh at me. So that, that's not the right way to hold okay, it. Okay, hold on. Okay, wet. Lick the tip. That's what she said. And to lick it first? Well, it makes it easier to cut. Like, cut it like that, see? Oh, I missed wow. it. That's okay, it's going on the floor anyway. The both ends look the same now. Just yeah. Like, just let it like that. See, so I can smoke the other end. You wouldn't want to, though. No? Nah. But it's the same. I mean, it's just to roll it and then... Yeah, but there's a cap on here that yep. keeps it together. So you want that to be where your mouth is. Otherwise it'll fall apart. I told you, I need the lesson. Now you gotta toast it. Hold this. And you just kinda lightly toast it. The whole thing or just toast it? Just the tip there. Do I do it like that? No, 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 far away. Far away. Just the tip. Like that. Just lightly toast it. Well, that'll take forever. You're just toasting it. You're not lighting it right now. There. Well, I didn't realize that. You're just prepping the... I thought I was pre-lighting it. Yeah, that's what you're doing. You're just getting it ready for the light. I see. Just kind of get the tip, not the side. Are we using that as the ashtray? <laughs> okay, now you can put it in Should your mouth. Light it, get a little closer, and then put it in your mouth. As in lighting it? Sure. There you go. 
No, no, no inhaling. That's good. That's good. Do you see the ember? <coughs> no, don't, don't, don't inhale. <laughs> I didn't try to. Just let it kind of burn a little bit. Let it cool down. You're gonna get that burning taste you don't like. No, you want, you want, you want the ash nice and long. See? Why? It looks, it's an ash. It looks cool and it holds up and it, and it, and it keeps the cigar cool. And it looks cool. You can see the craft. Well, you know, you know. You Trivial can, pursuit. You can see the craftsmanship when you have a long ash. Neighbors of a neighbor <laughs> with the pool is going, what the heck? Call the fire department. <laughs> tastes little, pretty good. Yeah, just a little puff. It doesn't little, taste like I thought. I thought it'd be bad, like harsh. No, just a little but puff. It, but it tastes like a Starbucks coffee or something. Yeah, that's why people drink coffee with cigars. Man, it's pretty good. Just a little puff. Every minute, puff and puff. Well, it'll take, it'll take an hour. Yeah, that's the point. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> He's got a Padron 2000. Did you need your hat? I do. Where's my hat? How come some of them are lighter colored than others? The darker the, darker the leaf, the more it's been fermented. Fermented, huh? And the darker the leaf doesn't mean it's a stronger cigar. It just means it's been fermented longer. Yeah, they put, they put these tobacco <clears throat> leaves in a giant pile. And because they're in a big pile, they go through this... Uh, I think it's anaerobic process without without air because they're on top of each other and they build up this heat in the middle and all these sugars basically get processed in the leaf and they turn into this darker smoother product in, in a nutshell it's kind of complicated but am I holding it cool enough to good enough to look cool yeah I just hold mine like this that's how I hold mine you can hold it like this though like this like a pool, a pool cube. Do there you, know? you go. So we're at the uh, villages here in Florida, hanging out for Christmas. So. So I got a question. Yeah. If I'm not puffing my cigar and it goes out, does that mean it's not a good cigar? No, it's just sometimes they if, go out. If I don't but puff it, it, will it burn all by itself all the way down? No. No. It will go out. It will go out eventually, but. But if you're smoking one and it's going out a lot, and you're trying to smoke it, then it could be a bad cigar. Yeah. That means if it's you're probably having a lot of yeah. trouble drawing and burning. Or it's probably rolled too tight. Some of them, like if you start smoking and the burn gets all wonky, where it's just not burning very well, that can mm. be a bad cigar. They have this type of method where they, <laughs> it's like a tube method. It's called entubado, uh, and they basically roll a bunch of leaves into smaller tubes or smaller cigar shapes, and they put all they put that in, as, as a bunch. So there's a bunch of tubes in your cigar that create airflow. I got it. So otherwise, right, right. that's how you know it's a good quality cigar is if they right. if they did that style. Okay, what do you think about the your cigar there? I think it's awesome. Better is it better than it's, the... it's more than halfway burned and it's starting to get a little warmer, hotter that... as I as I draw it than yeah. it was when I started. Um, but um, it still tastes like a Starbucks coffee or something, you know. Mm -hmm. um, only in the opposite, where a Starbucks is hot when you start off, and then as you drink it, it gets cooler. Where this is getting hotter. I'm kind of hooked, you know. This is kind of good. Yeah, it's just you know, it's not what you think. a cigar shop, a short walk from here, and yeah, you know. Well, like, a lot of people think it's like cigarettes, where you're, <laughs> and the reality is, it's, oh, this would be great. I could put it on a golf cart and set it down and hit. And yeah, you're not thinking about it much when yeah. you're actually smoking a cigar. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. it lasts all nine holes. Now this is pretty good. It has, I don't know, it's when when, when cigars are really old, they kind of tend to taste the same. So this is kind of like just a mellowed, you know, aged cigar flavor. It's kind of that musty earth flavor, I guess you'd call it. I don't know what how to describe it, but pretty good so far. Can you see that? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Look at it. Active tracks. See? Yeah, your What's, active it, tracks is a little bit off. It's facing your face right now. Oh, I, well, that's I turn what that, it's supposed to do. See? I turn that feature on. <laughs> there we go. All right, we are almost done. And my dad's first cigar, I think it was a success. And yeah, we've had a great Christmas. I know what you want. What do you think? You drank like half of It works for me, eh? Would you try it again? It was very enjoyable. I would definitely do it again. The biggest thing I've noticed with, with you know, beginners, uh, they, they smoke too fast. So really get that slow pace, that slow cadence. Don't, you know, don't over burn your cigar. You know, it gets hot easy, so just go slow. Enjoy the flavor. Partake. I knew I knew he was gonna do that. I knew you were gonna do that. Alrighty, we'll see you guys later.